Hello students, in this video we'll see examples of computing the Taylor series expansion of two functions centered at different points. So let's consider the function f of x, which is the sine of x, and the point a equals pi over 2. To compute the Taylor series, we know that the Taylor series expansion is the sum from 0 to infinity, the nth derivative of the function at the point a over n factorial, x minus a to the power n. And so what we need to do is we need to find a pattern for the derivatives of this function. So if f of x is sine, then f prime of x is cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. The derivative of sine, negative sine is negative cosine. And the derivative of negative cosine is sine. And so after four derivatives, the cycle repeats. And so what we can see is when we plug in pi over 2, so if we look at f n of pi over 2, there are two cases to consider. There are cases to consider when n is even. So if n is an even number, so if we have 2 or 4, or we can consider 0 as even in this case. If I plug in pi over 2 to sine, I get 1. So when we have 0, we get a 1. When we have 2, the second derivative, you're going to get a negative 1. When you have 4, you get a positive 1. When you have 6, you get a negative 1. When you have 8, you get a positive 1, and so on. And so what we can do is we can say that fn of pi over 2 is either 1 or negative 1 when n is even. When n is odd, then we see we have a cosine, a negative cosine. When we plug in pi over 2 to cosine, we get 0. So we're going to get all zeros. So 1, 3, 5, 7. We get all zeros. So that pattern is easy to discern. Just all zeros. So we can say is we can say if n is equal to 2k, then f 2k of pi over 2 will be a negative 1 to the power k. And so what we have over here is we can see that fn of 2 pi is equal to negative 1 to the k if we have the form 2k. And so what we can do is we can write our series and all the other terms, the odd terms are all 0, so what we can do is we can write our series f of x as the sum n goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, over, and now I'm letting n be even, so I'm going to let n be a, of the form 2n, and then x minus pi over 2 to the 2n. And this is the Taylor series expansion for sine of x at the point pi over 2. Let's see another example. Let's Taylor expand f of x, which is 1 over 1 minus x around a equals 3. Now we know previously that 1 over 1 minus x is the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity, of x to the n. So what we can do is we can do a little bit of an algebraic trick over here. I need to see an x minus 3 in our formula, so what we'll do is we'll put an x minus 3 in the formula. We can write 1 over 1 minus x as 1 over, and I'm going to put a minus x minus 3 over here, because that's the point I want to center it at. Now what we've done here is I still have a negative x, and I put a plus 3 over here, so what I need in front of this is I need a minus 3 over here. So we can put a minus 3 over here. So if we put a minus 3 over here, we have the exact same equality, but then I have plus 3 minus 3, and I have a 1 up there, so I have a 1 over here as well. So I have a 1 minus 3, and I have a plus 3, so the 3's will cancel out, we have the same exact expression. So if we simplify this, what we have is we have 1 over negative 2 minus x minus 3. And we can write this now by pulling out a factor of negative 2 as negative 1 half, and then I have a 1 over 1 plus x minus 3 over 2. And so now what we can do is we can use the geometric sum formula for this substitution, x minus 3 over 2, and we can write this as negative 1 half, and then we have the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity, of 
a negative 1 to the n, because there's a plus sign here. And then I'll have an x minus 3 over 2 to the power n. And what we can do is we can simplify this a little bit. We can write this as the sum. We can write this as the one sum, the sum. n goes from 0 to infinity. Negative 1 to the n plus 1. Because I have a negative sign out here. Then I'm going to have a 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. Because I have a 2 to the n, 1 over 2 over here. Then an x minus 3 to the power n. And this is the representation centered about the point 3 of the function 1 over x. We could have also computed all the derivatives of this function and plugged them in and found the general pattern to the formula, or we can use some algebraic manipulations to find the Taylor series expansion of that formula. So there's two t general approaches to doing a Taylor series about a different point other than the origin. The first is to find a pattern for the derivatives, as you did with the ordinary Taylor expansion, or you can try to algebraically manipulate the expression that you have to put into a form around 0. Thank you very much.